Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are interested in AI image generation or video and you don't have a, a good graphic card with a lot of VRAM, this video is going to be very interesting for you. Since we have a new model called Wave Speed, which uh, it is said that increased generation speed up to three times with acceptable accuracy loss. So today we will investigate this Wave Speed nodes. I will show you how you can install it and use it with different model, starting with Flux, LTX video, and also Honey One video. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you head over to this GitHub link, you can find this on my description box. You can see that this wave speed is all-in-one interference optimization solution for Comfy UI. It is based on dynamic cache, first block cache, and it can be used for different workflow. You can see here that we have the Flux, the LTX video, the Honey One video, and also the SDXL. I know that uh, most of people are using Flux for image generation, but SDXL are also still used by some users. This wave speed nodes is based on dynamic caching. That is a method that allows models to store some data uh, while generating images. And by doing that, it, they will avoid uh, recalculating some data during the, ge the image generation. So, as a consequence, we will have uh, an increase in speed while maintaining the same quality during image generation or video. So, in order to install this, you just have to copy the code, go to your Comfy UI root folder under custom nodes, type in CMD, click git clone, pass this link, and click enter. After that, make sure to open your Comfy UI, update Comfy UI, and restart it. And and that's it. It is very simple uh, node to use. Once it is completed, just make sure to download my workflow. You can find the link under my description, and we can start working. Just grab it here, and now I will show you how you can use this uh, wave speed nodes. Okay, when you open up my workflow, you can find three main groups, starting with the LTX wave speed, the Honey One wave speed, and also the Flux image wave speed. So if you are pretty familiar with this uh, LTX and Honey One models, you can clearly use this uh, workflow easily. However, if you need more information about those models, you can check my other video on how you can generate a video from using those models. Okay, first I'm gonna start with this flux image wave speed. All I have to do is enable it here. And you can clearly see that is a very classic uh, workflow for image generation using flux models. For the model, I am using this flux light 8 billion alpha. Then here we have the apply first block cache that was created by the wave speed, where you can change the residual diff threshold and uh, play uh, in order to obtain good quality and good speed performance. It is the main parameters for this wave speed in order for you to increase your speed or uh, decrease it. Then this model is plugged here for uh, is plugged for model sampling uh, flux. And it's gonna be directly plugged and connected with this sampler custom advance. I am using uh, fixed seed, uh, Euler as a sampler name with the 1024 by 1024 resolution. And I am also using 28 step as it is said here. You can clearly see with this table that we have uh, different uh, steps, but also different residual, different thresholds. It's gonna depend on your model and uh, what you wanna generate. For example, for Flux, we have 0 0.12. And for the LTX video, we have 0 0.1. And for SDXL, it is uh, suitable to use 0 0.2. So in that case, I'm gonna be using this value. Let me generate the first image for you. And, let, and we're gonna compare the difference between the quality and the generation speed. So we have the results for the flux generated images. As you can see, I try to play it with the residual threshold. And as we increase this value, the generation time become less important, especially with 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. However, when we increase to 0 0.3, there is a loss in quality images. As you can see, the 0 0.1 seems to be a suitable solution for uh, this uh, flux uh, model. And the details loss are not uh, so much important. 
we can see that we have the same quality with the, the threshold of 0.1 and without the threshold with normal flux model and for the generation time it is less important compared to flux all right so if you need to speed up your generation time you can use this uh, apply first block cache in order to gain more time the next thing that i'm going to show you is using this ltx video generation with this wave speed nodes all i have to do is enable it here then as you can see it is a very classic workflow for a video generation using ltx model at the exception of this apply first block cache make sure to plug it uh, after the model then make sure that is uh, plugged in the sampler custom for the resolution i am using this type of resolution and the length of my video is here of course if you want a more video duration you can try to increase that number by multiplying by two or three it's gonna automatically calculate length for your video but it's gonna take you more time for the steps i am using 29 steps and cfg value of four so i try to use the same prompt for both ltx and honey one video in order to compare the quality and the speed for my generation and as you can see here i, I also try to play with the residual value and i started from 0 0.02 then i start to increase the my residual threshold and we can clearly observe while increasing the threshold we have less generated time however when we reach a value of 0 0.2 and 3 the video becomes noisy and the quality the loss is very observed here so i strongly suggest you to use uh, a residual threshold of 0 0.1 for ltx video as you can see the default ltx uh, and the residual threshold of 0 0.1 has practically the same quality so it is also important to know that I also noticed during my test that when you have a longer prompt that these nodes can't really generate videos so you will need to increase to decrease sorry your residual threshold for longer prompt and this is very not suitable for quality of your video so if you can generate a video using longer prompt I strongly suggest you to bypass this apply first block cache maybe they will fix that in the future but for now uh, uh, this workflow only worked for a small prompt like this one and since we have this ltx video 0.91 it is uh, some kind of uh, faster model for video generation you will not need this apply first block cache in some video generation okay the last group that we're gonna see is the honey one wave speed uh, workflow make sure to disable all the other workflow and enable it here just by clicking as you can see it is also a very basic workflow for honey one as i used to work with we have the ggof unit loader since i am using a low low vram graphic card it is suitable for me to use the ggof version we have here it is blocked to basic scheduler and if you pay attention to the steps it is set to six best way for you to make it work with this six step is to plug the lora loader for honey one fast video as you can see here i use this apply first block cache for wave speed in order to gain uh, more uh, generation time but also i use this lora stack that and, uh, allows me to use lora models for uh, my video generation did the uh, test with this xlab flux anim lora let me set it to zero now it doesn't really work with this uh, lora however when i use this fast video lora it gives me a video in a short amount of time compared to to the original goof model without uh, using the lora and the six step so with this way you will have more faster video generation using both the lora model and the wave speed node after that this model is plugged here as uh, default then it is uh, everything is connected into this simpler custom advanced so all you have to do is use your prompt here then click q prompt in order for you to obtain your video okay for my first video i used uh, a lora model with the strength of one this lora model was dedicated to honey one that's why it worked for me uh, compared to the flux anim model so make sure that you're using the right lora of an, uh, in this lora loader nodes then i try to generate uh, this video 
this LoRa model was trained according to this lady over here and the generated time without the wave speed was 25 minutes and with wave speed it was only 21 minutes so the difference was really small compared to the LTX or flux uh, image generation so even with the LoRa loader and the wave speed the Honey one uh, was still uh, very slow uh, according to my PC configuration then I start to play with the residual difference threshold and it gave me practically the same generation time with the different quality as always when we increase this different threshold the quality seems to be lost and when we, we decrease it uh, we have uh, practically a slightly better quality however the generation time was also very slow so for Honey one uh, video generation this uh, notes doesn't make uh, a big difference uh, compared to the LTX video however if you s still uh, have a lot of video to generate uh, you can use this uh, apply first block cache with this configuration in order for you to gain more time okay in conclusion we can say that this apply first block cache provided by wave speed is very suitable for image generation using flux model it can allow you to obtain good uh, quality of images in a short amount of time while still maintaining the same consistency. However, it is not uh, very suitable for video generation using Honey One and the LTX model. We only have a small decrease in generation time uh, while maintaining the same quality. So, if you intend to decrease your time uh, by two, you will not found that uh, results so maybe i think in the future we will have a future update that will allow us uh, to decrease more uh, the generation time using uh, video generation models like honey one or ltx so that's it for uh, today's tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch my other videos